We have another tiny light from June, the X60. And this one is unique because it's not only tiny, but also R G B. And when I say this is tiny, this is how it compares to a card. Obviously it's not as thin, but you get the idea. It's also very light compared to other 60 watt lights out there. It is almost pretty much like a pocket size LED light, which is pretty insane. This is the battery that comes with it, which is the same one that comes with the X100. And even with the battery, this is what it looks like compared to a phone. So in this video, I'll be talking about this tiny light and talk about whether it's any good. I also want to say that although this is not a sponsored video, June did send me this slide for me to review and to test out, but they are not seeing this video before it's published. So in this video, I'll be going over the RGB version of this light. The non-RGB is a little bit cheaper. And if you're looking for even more budget-friendly lights that still pack a lot of power, June recently also released more budget-friendly options. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description below so you can go and check that out and see if that one would be a good fit for you. You are able to attach lighting modifiers to this, like this or like June's other lighting modifiers, which is something you cannot do with pocket size LED lights. You can even attach Bowen's mount soft boxes, but more on that later on in the video. So not only is this a bicolor light that allows you to go from 2700 Kelvin to 6500, but you also have HSI controls to dial in the degree of a color of a hue. You also have RGB controls and you can dial in the percentage of RGB. So red, green, and blue. Now I'm 100% red and I'm increasing the green a little bit now to come up with different colors. Another cool thing about this is that you also get lighting effects. This is a police car effect. And a really cool thing about this police car effect in particular is that in the color, you're able to select whether you want that to be just red, a blue, or a red and blue. So those police cars that have red and blue. And there's a bunch of other effects as well, which makes this really, really fun. So this light feels actually pretty well built. It does not feel plasticky at all. It does look nice as well. It seems like June did not cut any corners when designing this light. The knobs here feel really nice and they have a little bit of a resistance to it. While using this light, the fan never came on. But if it's similar to other June lights that have a fan, the fan is not very audible that would ruin your audio recording. You have a little quarter inch thread at the bottom of this light, so it lets you attach this to a light stand. And you also are able to power this via USB-C or via DC power input. If you're powering this with USB-C, you need a high power delivery USB-C battery pack. But before we continue, if you're new here, it will be greatly appreciated if you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for future videos from me. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here again. So to turn this light on, you press the power button once and press it again and this time holding it. Well, of course I need to plug in the battery. Okay. To turn on this light, you need to first press this power button and press it again and hold it and wait for the light indicator and the battery to come on. And now you can turn the knobs to power the light on. And now we can toggle the different modes by pressing on this button right here. You can use these two knobs to quickly toggle through all the different settings, but they also have the June Vega app that is compatible with this light. Like some of other June's lights, this one has June's proprietary ZY mount. So you're able to attach this mini dome diffuser or some of June's other lighting modifiers. They also have a Bowens mount adapter that goes into here. So you can now attach your Bowens mount soft boxes. This is what this light looks on me with this mini dome diffuser. And this is what it looks like with that mini soft box. Because this is so small, I can also put it high up on the light stand to give me a hair light of different colors. June claims that with the battery fully charged, 
and at max power, you get about 50 minutes of running time. If you're running it at about half the power, you get about an hour and 40 minutes. And at 60 watts, this light is actually pretty bright as well. At one meter, you get about 2200 lux. So this is at 20%. Let's try that. So 25, let's press that to quickly toggle from zero to 50, so that's 50 that's 100 so that's max power so pretty pretty bright All right in terms of pricing this light comes at 249 us dollars by itself the combo version is 329 and that gives you one of these external batteries and a carrying bag the pro version it's a little bit more expensive at 399 dollars and that includes a second battery and a mini softbox if you're looking for something that has RGB in a small package, then definitely I would go for the combo version because you want to take advantage of how portable this is by getting one of these external batteries. But if you do not need the RGB or the colors, you can get the non-RGB version, which will still give you a bicolor temperature, and that is a bit cheaper than this RGB version. I think this light is worth picking up if you're looking to reduce your lighting load even further, if you want something that's small that can give you a decent amount of output with RGB capabilities. Because this is so small, it's something that you can just throw in and have in your camera bag at all times. So its size, its weight, portability, and the fact that it's RGB are my favorite features. Oh, and the fact that you're able to add in modifiers. In terms of some of the cons, it comes at a little bit pricier than other 60 watt light. Other 60 watt lights, although they don't have RGB capabilities, they are a lot cheaper than this one, but they're also a little bit bigger. So that is for you to determine whether you need RGB and whether you want a smaller package for 60 watts of lighting output. So those are all my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what light is your favorite one to use right now. I hope you have a blessed day and here are a couple of videos you could probably watch next and I'll see you there. Thank you.